So here we have the Ford Echo Sport on a 19 plate. Uh, we're going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We'll start off inside the boot area of the vehicle, first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauge. And above that, the trip computer, which includes the total mass for this car. They are 15,316. We have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see. You can change the information that's displayed there. So you have various different menus. Uh, from your nav to your phone, your audio, settings, trip computer, and then back around to the beginning again. And the buttons that I was using to do that are just here. We have cruise control and speed limiter beneath that, and stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side. Over in the center, we then have the touchscreen, which, as you can see, includes satellite navigation. Uh, we've done a video showing how this sat-nav uh, sat system works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. This is where you pay your phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. Then just follow the instructions on your phone screen and on this screen from there. Uh, you can turn your audio on from here and adjust the volume over on that left-hand side. When it comes to audio options, uh, we have got AM, FM and DAB radio, as you can see. Bluetooth audio as well, so you can stream your music wirelessly, as well as making and receiving phone calls once you've paired your phone, of course. Uh, and we have two separate USB inputs, so if you plug devices into those, they'll appear up here as further options for you. Main volume for the stereo is just there. Below that, we have our climate control. So you can adjust the fan speed and the direction of the air, the temperature, of course. The air conditioning is on at the moment, so that's off, back on again, or hit auto. The car will now take control of the direction of the air and fan speed to maintain this temperature. Any manual adjustment will take auto off and allow you to put it back on your own settings. We also have a heated rear and heated front screen. The two USB inputs I mentioned a moment ago, we can turn our traction control on and off. And this button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. We then have a six speed manual gearbox for the car as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.